I think I probably am more frustrated with the Parks Department in general. It appears that the current administration views the city council's input similar to the way the uh, president views the Congress's input. <laughs> uh, and um, so I, I think that there are some peculiar notions that uh, the amount of input the community has, as I understand it, uh, at this juncture, um, bids are going to be going out next week, is it? Right. Yeah. As early as, but they haven't committed to um, I would be surprised if they didn't go out as early as they possibly could based on what they've said. Uh, so the notion that there is serious consideration of the uh, public, I think, throughout this entire process demonstrates that that's um, actually just been um, lip service. Uh, the, uh, there is no end of the request from the Parks Department for uh, capital dollars outside of the city budget. They come specifically, regularly, asking for more money. My uh, most uh, recent, which is not terribly recent, but I guess was in the fall, uh, communication with them was, uh, since you seem to have more than enough money to do things that the community doesn't want, I don't really understand why you need more money to do other things elsewhere. There's a I understand um, a little bit of what uh, Alan is trying to convey in terms of there is some strict notion of you have the right to say this, but you don't have the right to say comment on that. And perhaps that was some process that was agreed to in some way. Um, but the, uh, the bottom line is that this is still um, the Parks Department uh, the city council, the state assembly, all of us are actually employees of the people. Um, despite the fact that Mike Bloomberg only takes a dollar, um, that still obligates him to be an employee of the city of New York, and that means the people of the city of New York, um, even though you get what you pay for. Um, <laughs> there is. I am afraid an incredible amount of disregard and um, arrogance. Uh, now, um, accessibility being an issue that is at the forefront and not if there happens to be enough money, um, I think that's actually an obligation under the ADA to actually do things uh, and incorporate into the design that which you can accomplish and if you don't have enough money to accomplish it, then maybe you don't put in a four-foot fence. Uh, and you do the ADA. Um, I have a hard time thinking that somehow communities have given up their, res their responsibility and their uh, right to um, operate in a dialogue with the city administration and to get some uh, reasonable uh, responsiveness. They can use an inappropriate park land space for a marine transfer station, so their concern about parks uh, is um, schizophrenic to say the least. <laughs> this is one of the most park-starved communities in all of the city. Not in Manhattan, but all of the city. And I am uh, disappointed that the city uh, remain um, tone deaf and disregarding of the key elements that this, the majority of people uh, seem to have expressed. This is about historic preservation. This is about not turning this into uh, another gentrified piece of uh, Lower Manhattan. Uh, and I would hope that the city council would use its power of the purse, uh, because I do think that if the city has to raise all of the money privately, that that is a stronger argument and unmasks what I think is, in fact, part of the agenda, um, that um, there could be 
a, a broader discussion, and that perhaps the city support the notion that the park, that the fountain should be moved because it lines up better, uh, it looks whatever. You know, I just think that it's a lot of money and energy going in to do things that are not essential and in fact undermine a sort of historic sense of place. That's not a design element. Thank you. So the parks department has parsed it so that you can, you know, have a discussion about flower beds or what's in them, but not about whether or not the entire nature of the park is dramatically altered. Yes. And I find yes. that yes. disappointing. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. to come together in some fashion to make that clear just to both the community board, which I guess is your charge, but also the broader community, and also to um, an increasingly detached and unconcerned uh, city administration. Uh, the, the entire nature of our neighborhood and the people who created what is arguably one of the most wonderful and unique places in the whole world. country, if not the world. But I am very frustrated and very upset about um, this jewel that is about to be uh, turned into an artificial flower. Thank you.